Relaxing the belly, the ribs, the sternum, the throat, face over the head. And exhale slowly, bringing the arm past the face, the throat, the ribs, the belly. And bringing the palms very close so they are not quite touching. Notice what you feel. You may now open your eyes. Relax your arms. I will now answer your question. Will yoga help me overcome my fear? What? Yes, yoga will help you overcome your fear. Yoga puts you in touch with the realities of life. When you realize that you have 90 to 100 years in this life if you are lucky, and then you will be gone. When you really realize that with all of your being, all fear related to life experience just falls away. I'm so sorry I'm not going to be able to see you graduate. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Is he really going to die? I mean, I guess I've always known everyone dies, but everyone except my family and my friends and me. Good morning! Today we practice woman, a technique for cleansing the stomach. This is what we do, okay? We drink six glasses of warm salt water and then immediately vomit it up. Oh. <laughs> it is very good for people with anxiety, high acidity, indigestion. It's very good for you. Don't worry, we won't be eating first. It's not to throw up food, it's just to clean the stomach. And the salt in the water will prevent the acid from burning the throat. All right? Dear mom, today in class, we drank salt water till we vomited. And then our lecture yesterday was about merging with the infinite. How's the cat? <laughs> Love you. Bring the first cup to my lips. I think the salt is really gross. But I keep drinking. Because I'm supposed to. Oh. After glass four, I really want to be done. Keep filling it up. I still have two more to go. Stiff neck, arms like crowbars, dragging protesting body from bodega to bodega, <coughs> swallowing pieces of pastry, barely chewed. I bought a pack of cookie dough. Back at the dorm, I plop myself down in the stairwell, tear open a corner, throw my head back, and squeeze half the package down my throat. Stomp back to my room, heading straight for the toilet, dough in hand. Roommate's not home. What the hell is wrong with you? Why are you draining the family with all of this crap? Lean over the toilet bowl and shove the tops of my fingers into my guts. Instant vomiting. Gassy chunks are forced back up through my throat. Sometimes get stuck. Lift head, look in mirror. Face pink and puffy. Eyes bloodshot. Slam forearms into the wall. Fists still gripped. Rip clothes off. Get in the shower. Hands on my stomach. Get out of the shower and plop down on the cold bathroom tiled floor. Naked and soaking wet. It's raining when I get out of bed. First ashram rain. We're spending the day in silence. We're allowed to ask questions in lectures, but otherwise we're not supposed to talk to each other. It's to encourage mindfulness. As my roommate and I walk to the meditation hall, the sky is like a smeared watercolor painting. Drippy streaks of orange and pink against the gray. After asanas, I go to do my karma yoga assignment, which is helping with breakfast. An hour goes by so fast. With all of this not talking, the only thing I can think about is language. I think back to the year I can barely talk. Amanda, based on the symptoms you describe, you have what is clinically termed depersonalization disorder. I'm 21 and in grad school for creative writing. Studying the business of carefully choosing words and arranging them in a particular order to make meaning. Transmitting thoughts from one brain to another via words on a page. All of reality is a language construct. <laughs> what is language really? I mean, how do we just take that for granted? How do I have feeling in this body? What's pleasure? What's pain? My body exists in the same dimension as the floor, but how come I can't feel sensation through the floor? 
floor the way I can feel it through my skin. Why can't I find a position to make this panic go away? <laughs> I'm walking through the streets of Manhattan to avoid having to see my roommates. The wind rips through me. Tall buildings block the sun. I walk and walk, shrinking. I see my face in store windows. Can other people see me? I think I see my dad in the crowd. Maybe I'm dead now, too, and maybe that's why I can see him. Watch where you're going, bitch. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm walking to Sam's door. He's a classmate. He says he loves me, but how can he love a ghost? It feels good to have Sam rubbing up against me, reminding me of my body, that it can still respond to stimulation. But I don't want to have sex with him. If there's an ejaculation within 10 feet of me, I'm convinced I'll need an abortion. I think we should cool our jets. That was a weird thing to say. Jets. <laughs> Spell J E T S. Jets. <laughs> that can say that? I can get a condom. 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 Repeat it over and over. The word loses all meaning. No, I don't want to. Oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, oh. The sentence without consonants. I'm giving him a hand job, not paying enough attention, and then he comes. I should have rolled off him before that stuff came squirting out. I have to go. Everything is fine. Nothing happened. No, no, I have to What's go. The What's the matter? Um, I have to go. No, no, I'm okay. I'd rather be alone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ooh, I get in. Ooh, I get in. Get in. Get in. Ooh, I get in. Ooh, I get in. Standing on the Brooklyn Bridge, looking out over the Manhattan skyline, I bite the inside of my cheek until it bleeds in an effort to taste myself. What a panorama. I'm a human being. I have warm blood pumping through my veins. I can speak. I can sing. Sunrise doesn't last all morning. The cloudburst doesn't last all day. Seems my love is up and has left you with no warning. It's not always gonna be this great. All things must pass. All things must pass. Inside my brain there are rainbows of words. Even if they do sometimes get caught in the wind when they roll off my tongue through my teeth and into the air. I climb up onto the bridge's ledge just to test my balance. If the wind blows a little harder, if I slip, but if I'm already dead, it won't make any difference. Let go of trying to control your breath. Notice what parts of your body are connecting to the floor. 